and Jackson Davis. Let's get because right into it. Because of depth, it's been so interesting. I've been told to it's Emirates. Who plays, Emirates. Anywho, it's the Warriors NBA in-season tournament. ESPN game. You got the Grizzlies getting it on with the Warriors. We are in San Francisco with this one. You see Draymond early with two threes. Pretty much for the most part, you're getting a, a healthy so dose of the Warriors. Um, I mean, and the Grizzlies are still without Jackson down the other end with a nice left hand. Okay, John Moran and Desmond well, Bain, who have decided to take the first month of the season run. off. Aaron Jackson, air ball, rebound, tip. I don't know what else to tell you, Memphis fans. I'm sorry, I love y'all. Hometown, I love y'all, but you know, y'all take up for job no matter what. So whatever, y'all, y'all take up for him. It ain't my job, hell, y'all, y'all, y'all take up for him every day and night. Not me. I don't let people just <laughs> take my love for granted. Good pass from Steph to Wiggins. You got a 36-year-old Steph Curry. Is the ability to break down any defense on What's the defense? update on this, by the way, as you guys enjoy this highlight? If you have not done so, please make sure you're subscribed to the channel. I keep it real with my basketball commentary. I'm not one of these dudes that cap and fake. I don't have friendships and relationships with the NBA, although many, 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 many uh, uh, celebrities have watched my videos over the years. Uh, 50 Cent just posted me on his Instagram a couple weeks ago. I don't, I don't do stuff like that. We keep it real, and uh, for that reason, I don't make any. NBA relationships um, because it's not my thing. My thing is to be real with y'all, to be truthful with y'all. Make sure you subscribe to the channel if you have not done so. What's the update on Ja? Ja suffered a hip injury, grade one pelvic muscle strain. He's considered week to week. Laravia. Back up, Marcus Smart. Three pointers, good. So this was four hours ago. I'm reading this. He's not playing. Josh's not playing for at least the next week or two. It doesn't appear that we're going to see Job hit the courts at any point in November. We'll see. Um, which doesn't spell the greatest for the Grizzlies. I actually think they're doing a pretty decent job developing Scottie Pippen and assuming, which this is not even a fair thing to assume, that Josh is healthy. And let's say 2025, if you're a Grizzly fan, it doesn't matter because he's great. Like, Ja, oh, Kaminga, beautiful. Um, it, I think it could work in the Grizzlies' favor, but, again, there's no guarantee Ja Morant will be healthy even if he misses. I'm just going to be pessimistic here November and December, right? Like, let's say he comes back right after Christmas Day, which is really like my starting point for the NBA season. There's no guarantee Jaws going to be healthy all of 2025. He got suspended for 25 games last year, came back right before Christmas, and he got hurt again. He got hurt after like 5, 10 games. This dude is injury prone. Oh, Pajinski with the dime of the year. A beautiful behind-the-back pass. Oh, Grizzlies got Desmond Bain back. I just noticed he was out there. I'm sorry. Wiggins using Good to see him back. One of my favorites in the league. Looney, who's coming off a game where he had oh, what? Did he come off the bench in this one? He's going to be out for a bit. Am I tripping? I can't get it to go. Good defense on the interior. Oh, swatted up top. Nice by Williams. Oh, good play from Williams. Vince Williams making a lot of Williams came plays. along pretty well last year. But he healed playing some hadn't, defense. Hadn't so had much of an smart. impact this year. Has he been injured? Smart spins up top, LaRavia. I haven't seen much of him this year. As LaRavia knocks in the three. Live in the paint, but three-point shooting helps you get there. Has LaRavia Vince been injured this year? Knock one down. He's become more than just a shooter. Oh, what a Curry shot from, from Curry. Down. His three-pointer. Kaminga gets inside. Tough shot. Can't get to the fall. Fight for the rebound. Pippen has it. Yeah, Vince Williams Vince has been hurt. Bain. Pass him and Bain Williams are back now the as they right there to clean it figure up. it out there offensively Kaminga with the layup from Bain. Okay, the Grizzlies ball, are the, the deepest team in the NBA has. by a country mile. Desmond Bain. Oh, it looks like the same play again. Yeah, the Grizzlies got crazy depth. This is the deepest team in the NBA, and it's not even close. They got guys 1 through 12 that legitimately can contribute to a win. I forgot all about Vince Williams. Comes to an end. And they got Gigi Jackson on the way. They've ran out of spots for these guys. 
Give them some room, and that's what happens. Oh, what a talented Luke deep team the first that at the end of the day is still going to need a healthy John Morant. Draymond Green from downtown. He's been shooting well. Warriors off to a hot start this year. They're nine and two coming into Memphis or this game against Memphis. Pippen fakes. But again, for all the Grizzlies fans out there, I know I got a bunch of y'all. If the if Jaws healthy. When the Jesse clock strikes 2025, 20, you're in a good spot. You see the depth y'all got is Draymond Nell's another three Grizzlies up 12. You got incredible depth, like to the point where Memphis probably is going to have to get rid of some of this depth at the trade deadline. You just can't sit on good players that's going to get paid in the next year or so. They got too much depth. They got way too much. They don't have enough spots for some of these guys like Gigi Jackson or, or Vince Williams. These guys that were able to develop because – job was hurt last year. I mean, now you're looking around like a guy like Marcus Smart should definitely be on the trading block. 1,000%. What's the point of him? The Grizzlies don't need him anymore. He never contributed for Memphis. He didn't seem to ever want to play in Memphis. Zach Eady contributed. If anything, I would trade some of these wings and go get another big if I were Memphis. I would protect myself from Zach Eady. So far, so good for him as a rookie. I, I still don't trust that body, though. If I were the Grizzlies, I would go get one more big. I would go get one more big. Oh, good defense from Steph. Oh, no, you know that's getting stopped, popped, and pulled. Bang! He's been feeling it the last few games. Turnover. Oh, they picking up full court on Williams in a, in a regular season game? In Curry like fashion. Hey. Gets inside. It gets that back Williams is good. This is a really good team, head, man. Memphis right then ran out of shots. Jaron Jackson attacking. Anderson got a piece of it. But Williams right there to put it up and in. Close Guy that just down. knows where the ball's gonna be. Shot clock at eight. Jackson, oh, Jackson Davis is spin moving. Finish. And I like the development of Trace. Finish. I really think the Warriors got another piece that will be around going forward. It's Huff inside. Another guy, by the way, people not going to agree with this. Luke Kennard could be on the move at the deadline. I'm not. If I'm Grizzlies, Saudi Aldama stays no matter what. You know, Scotty Pippen Jr., I, I think I'm keeping. Anderson nails the three. I think I, I, I would say I'm keeping Huff. I like what he means. I think he's a good uh, guy you can brand around. The hustle white guy. That's going to work well in Memphis. I'm telling you all some real stuff. I wouldn't trade. Those guys. Everybody else, I would put in consideration, right? Like, of that bench. I would consider trading Marcus Smart. Although I would like one playoff run with a guy like Marcus Smart. I don't know. That maybe just ain't how it play, panned out this year. Because Memphis got to be better than 7-5. and five. No, I get it, Jaws down, but man, I man, this team's got way too much talent. Then what do you do with Wells? He's found his way with Desmond being hurt. A lot of questions from Memphis. I'll tell you one thing, Golden State's got more answers than questions. They're another one of these super deep teams in the NBA as Buddy Hill nails a three. They got some depth to them. Not as deep as Memphis, but they definitely got some depth to them. Desmond Bain finishes. Let me see if I can get y'all some stats here. As you see, Jaron Jackson had a great game, but Memphis is getting just demolished. Nice pass inside, Jackson to Edie. 17, he missed on two different sides. Gotta hurry up. Uh, he's been terrific so far this year as Moody hits the three pointers. One, two, okay. Yeah, I got it. Still shows as Edie can't get it. Jaron Jackson, 32. Draymond, 13, 8, and 7. He got ejected in this game. Not shown in the highlight. Only 13 from Steph. But he had 18. Uh, Grizzlies are going to fall to these Warriors that are off to a great start. 123-118 is your final from San Francisco. If you love flexing your sports knowledge, you should head over to the best place to play fantasy sports and win some money while you're at it. That's Underdog. For me, I love the pick'em game. It's super simple to play, too. All you got to do is go to the Underdog website or app. You got to pick whether a player will have a higher or lower stat line for that specific game. You get your picks right, and you can win up to 1,000 times your money. And 
When you sign up, if you use your boy's promo code, which is Ferro, your deposit will get matched up to $1,000. It's available to you in bonus cash. You can't be that. Tap in with Underdog. My promo code is Ferro.